Hello everybody, and this is Rail. Welcome back to Final Fantasy V. Uh, last time we left off, we finally got our jobs, um, got access to our job classes. So, uh, yeah. No longer wasting the AP and experience and all that other stuff. Anyway, first order of business, we're going back to Tool. Where she ditches. So, before anything else, if we go up north... Sock is home. Nothing is too dangerous. Like I said, animations are annoying in this game. I wish I could speed up the animation time, but, you know... Well... Without, you know... <laughs> buggering up the music. This music is so obnoxious. First time I played this game, I thought he was going to be evil or up to no good, maybe just start a little trouble in the neighborhood. But, um, turns out he's just a really nice old man that cares for, uh, you know, so. Always nice. Anyway. While we're not done here, I'm going to step out of town real quick for one important reason. our booty. The reason I did that was now I can just go back in and Ferris will stay in the bloody party. So I don't have to wait for animations and figuring out what, I'm, what I do and do not buy. Primary tr uh, thing is... This, don't really care about. This, kinda care about. Okay, it's they're cheap enough. I'm just gonna go ahead and stock up for everything. I might be end up grinding a bit for some gill, because, god, I could use some. Let's see, do I need anything else here? Hi. Maybe the rod? That's too expensive. In short, I need some gill, so I'm going to be grinding outside, so... While doing that, I'm going to pause the recording. You'll thank me for that. Well, I really should have recorded this battle, first one while grinding. Um, we learned Goblin Punch. How this works is, if a blue mage gets targeted by an ability that you can learn, aka Ferris, in Goblin Punch in this case, you can learn the ability. So getting punched in the face has its benefits here. So Ferris learned Goblin Punch. Now if we look at Ferris and go to Blue Magic, we have Goblin Punch with a Goblin Strength. I believe Goblin Punch isn't terrible? Uh, I don't remember. I'll look into things, probably, between things. So, anyway, I'm back to grinding. I will come back if I see a enemy where I need blue magic. can learn blue magic. Sorry about that. Hello guys, I'm recording this battle because something interesting is going to happen here. First, 
Goblin Punch, which we learned. Using it, you saw it did a ton of damage. Way overkill. What Goblin Punch does is it uses the typical spell formula and whatnot, except it does eight times the damage, or eight times the spell caster, or... It's, uh, it does a lot more damage against something that's of equal level to you. The reason why I recorded this battle is that ABP, Bart has gained a level, and a job level, in cover. So, what does that actually do, you're asking? Well, if we go here... From Blue Mage, we also learn check. I'm gonna equip it for now, doesn't really matter. But, um, basically what it does is, now since I have level 1 white of the here, I can uh, uh, equip this to any other class he goes, and he can use level 1 white magic. And same if this was, you know, black. So, instant reaction is black mage, equip him with white. Put them the rod. And they learned cover, which is not a big deal, really. Eh. That being said, though, while grinding, I think I am going to go ahead and switch them both over to Monk. For a specific reason. I want that first ability. Just because I can get it, and it it would be valuable. Anyway, I'm still grinding a bit because I always do this beginning grind a bit, get a few abilities under my belt as well as you know some gill. So I'll be back and I'll show you the actual progress on them. And I just realized something. I'm probably gonna get a few comments on it. Uh, this there is a uh, vendor here, which I'm gonna buy a few of these real quick. Uh, there is an item vendor in town. He's in the end. He's in the back. I derped. Didn't matter too much, but I would have been a little less stingy with items if I could have had a few more potions, and I probably wouldn't have any of those deaths. Anyway, back to grinding. Okay, and I finished getting exactly what I wanted, so I'm going to quickly switch these guys back over to Knight and give them focus, which might as well. Job on you, night. Eventually, I'll branch these two out down different paths. I'm gonna check if I can buy a shield as well. But uh, anyway, so I have level one on both of these completed. I could start learning, you know, blue magic or something else, but I'm going to stick with black mage for now. Um, Ferris also, what I was grinding for mostly was to get the level 2 blue mage, which instantly means I can now start teaching her black magic with learning equipped. <laughs> Basically, what this does is, if she ever gets hit, she'll try to learn the uh, spell. Anyway, I'm not done, but uh, I'm done grinding, so whatever I can purchase, I can purchase. If I can't purchase anything, well, okay, don't care. Primarily, it was just to get a few job class levels. Anyway. Okay, I want to check something. There is a reason I quickly switched over this, is just so I can check the items. Staff does absolutely nothing. Rod gives more MP. So. Whoops. Ew. Quick learning. Stop moving. I'll buy a second rod, and I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a second staff just in case. Equip you with the rod, increases her magic by one, and that's all that really matters there. Now I'm going to quickly check. God damn it. The leather shield. The 
evasion increases by 10% and it uses up her other hand. So, that's the end gear. Everyone's geared out how I want. They're both black mages, so they're gonna. Um, we're just gonna go that route. So, next up, we are going to be heading back to the Wind Temple real quick. And there is a reason. Annoying one, but there's one. Oh, cutscene. his bones. It'd be horrible if he fell off. Anyway, hilarious but horrible. So next up, ah, so we're going up here, and we're searching for a specific enemy. One thing I am going to do, just to make my life a hell of a lot easier, is switch everyone to Blue Mage for the time being. Except for you, who is going to be a white mage for this. Whoops. The entire reason I'm putting you as something else is so you can have learning equipped. Anyway, the reasoning behind is the easier it hits. I do plenty of damage, so... I'm gonna also save because I've done so in a while. The XB is inconsequential here, really. And there we go. Why? Because we wanted to learn arrow. There we go. Now I can switch everyone back to their proper thing. Yep. And get focus. Not gonna probably use focus all that much, but it's it's better than having nothing there, kind of thing. You switch black to <laughs> black. Back to black mage with white magic. You switch to... Eh, stay white mage. Stay exactly that, actually. I'm fine with that. Next up, you up front, you up front. Anyway, now we need to get out of here. and do a mass heal because it just helps a bit. Yeah, 
these things are not the most pleasant things in the world to fight. So we want to get out of here pretty quickly. Um, I was going to just cut, but we're almost out. For the most part, it shouldn't be anything too dangerous if we even run into anything else. Okay, and while we're here, basically a free tent. Okay, next up, we're still doing a little bit of backtracking. Give me a second, I want to check some things. Make sure I'm going in the right place and not forgetting things. Anyway, oops. Now we're heading back to the pirate's cave. I swear this is it. Uh, you have to swear around to the place where you entered it the first time. Ah, I see. And then up from here. I will be killing everything because ABP, but um. Suppressing. Anyway, we're mostly here for treasure, but also other things. That should be enough waiting. Oops. And learned vampire. There we go. And learned white one, instantly changing over this to black magic. With learning still equipped. Actually, go ahead with white for now. Anyway, while we're here, free heal. And we're heading back up. So we learned, we've learned uh, Goblin Punch, Arrow, and Vampire so far. Give me a second because I'll fuck something up if I don't do something real quick. There. Basically, I just wanted to uh, set it up so uh, if I hold down A, I'm not spamming out spells on accident and wasting MP. Because this stuff, I am not going to need to use spells on at this point. But it's still worth it, 1 ABP. Anyway, let's go ahead and look around here and see what we can get. Boko! Thank you. Right. That's pathetic. And that's everything we can look at in here. So, we found out how both... Well, that guy loves Ferris. That's weird. Oh, I know what to do there. Yes, I'm not looking at the guide here because I wanted to talk to a lot of pirates anyway. That's itching my eye. That's the lack of sprint. Anyway, that button should open this. And we get an ether, which is nice. A tent, which is okay. And 300 gil, which... Eh. 
puts us at over a thousand again, so that's nice. Anyway. There we go. Now then, let's continue on. By continue on, I mean backtrack through this entire place. Again. I'm g I'll cut here. I'll see you guys in a little bit. And we're back! And back on the boat. So, we've done all the backtracking that I can- I think we need to do at this point. Thus, let's continue on. I hate when people do that. It's like, does it matter? Well, technically not, but uh, still would be nice for you to tell your uh, party when you learn these things. Anyway. First time using black magic, even though I have a lot of experience with it now. She learned black one. Now it's the question of what do I want her to go into? That's gonna take a while. I could get her to learn thief. Hmm. Would that be worth it? Not really. Black or white, yeah. Now let's just do that. Next up. I guess because that's a lot better. I'm gonna turn Lena, uh, Lena into a thief for now. Just so she can learn some thieving abilities. Primarily steal. Anyway, here's a boss. We're gonna first try to steal, see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and toss a cure there. For 60, followed up by a thunder because water based looking thing. Doubling up the heal because it takes more than just one. I don't know. Nothing to steal. Okay. Do a blanket heal here. And there we go. And you get 5 AP and no XP. That's the norm for bosses. I'm sure we'll take the free down. That is depressing.
what are you going to do? I'm sorry, but like, it's saddening, it's depressing, but what the hell are you going to do? Dive into the water, try to push her out with your sheer tenacity? That's not happening, Ferris. That's just not happening. Ferris has my sympathy, but at the same time, it's... What are you gonna do? So, interesting little bit, if you didn't know. If you come downstairs... And on the right side, you can rest. I find it nice to give the bed to the old man. That's nice of him. Makes sense, too. But there we go. So we're now in the uh, ship graveyard. Verifying something. Okay. Almost have a new ability for Bart and you. And you two are decently off. Hmm. Might change you to a white mage now, since you already have a little two here. Yeah, it doesn't matter right now. Okay, I'm reading real quick. Make sure I'm not gonna miss anything. No, can't save here. So, quick save. Nothing to steal. Oh, fun and interestingly enough, too, you can damage with healing. As I've said, undead are weak to healing. It's like holy magic and whatnot. Oh, an elixir. Nice. I enjoy getting free elixirs. Uh, your MP matters a little bit less to me. She learned something and I did not see find passages. Meh. I'm basically keeping her there until she learns steal, so I don't actually have to be a thief to steal. But I don't know when she exactly does that, so I might end up pulling off that idea later. I'm not sure if I missed something here. Okay. Leave your ship and head down. You can jump on the rock. Oh. This fight's just annoying to me. Quite sure to be fair. I could just be missing something simple. Ah, oh, probably just a normal level. I did not see this appear earlier. You get a flail.
something I can show you real quick, actually. Is the flail. Mace, even mages, can wield. Basically, it has a lot of attack. I believe it, it hits fully from the back row as well. Uh, don't quote me on that. Either way, it doesn't matter. I might as well use it. Yeah, uh, again, animations take forever. And if you miss this the first time... Apparently not, what? Okay. Um... I guess not. I could have sworn that you had to grab that map. Anyway. Reading something. That one was not the thing I was thinking of then. Hooray, he learned guard. Not a real big deal, to be fair. Um, light magic, cure, you. Anyway. <sighs> Yay, killed him. It's not very enthusiastic when you're... Oh, 990 kill. Mm. Checking if I missed anything important. No, I haven't missed anything so far. That I know of. actually seen that. I might be going the correct way. Yeah, I am. And there's why I accidentally slipped up and said she like 12 different times. Oh, pervert. Anyway, 
I'm pretty sure this is the way we have to go to get a little story revel uh, revelation. So I'm going to uh, backtrack a little bit in case I miss something. Because, you know, loot. Someone finish something. Uh, you got that level two. Where is this at? Level one with black there. So let's go ahead and get this level two. And there we go. I was gonna miss out on the Phoenix sound. Not the end of the world. Like, I could have gone back to get that one phoenix sound I missed, but, uh, I'm not too concerned about it. Yeah. These battles are not too interesting. I really should be cutting them out. I should really also be cutting this episode. So when we get back to uh, where I um, where we had the interesting revelation, I think I'll cut the video there. Because this is pushing 40 minutes. And, oh, I'm not a big, you know, it has to be 30 minutes. I'd rather keep it to that. Simply for rendering and upload. To fucking hell. Uploading purposes. Okay, let's see if I do that three times in a row. Anyway, this has been Rail, and uh, I hope that's... That was weird, my uh, recording thing was showing weird audio. Hopefully it doesn't go through at the video. Anyway, this has been Rail, and uh, it's been a pleasure. See you guys next time.